Hi, I'm Jill Kintner and we're here at Dirtfish Rally School in uh, Snoqualmie, Washington. I'm a professional mountain bike racer. We're here today to like, learn a bit of crossover skills. My goals are kind of to like really tidy up my braking points and how to read the terrain and accelerate at the right point because a lot of that is pretty similar to mountain biking. I think we're going to find that she has a lot of natural talents in terms of looking for terrain and how to set the car up. I think she's going to be used to brake pedal. I think she's going to be used to understanding how to set something up for entry into a corner. And I think really we're just going to have to, to play with that throttle pedal a little bit. Turn in, braking good. Looking at that cone. You got it. You got it. Perfect. Yeah. <laughs> that was awesome. Hold on. Feel straight. Good gas. Yep. It's definitely a lot trickier than it looks at first. I mean, there's so much to do with how you time it, the point of when you're like turning and then sliding or where you want your slide or your arc to end so that you can go straight. I mean, just like repetition, repetition is the only way you're gonna learn it. Like this transition between the two is like really key to control and speed and everything. So the same, same with my biking, right? Like it's like you can't go faster unless you have the control. Bring it hard, 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 hard. Yep, good, yep, good. Yeah. When you put a, a cage around somebody who's on a bicycle most of the time, their fear level goes out the window. So <laughs> they feel very safe and therefore aren't willing to back off the throttle very much. At the end of the day, my goal is to be the best mountain biker in the world. So any skill that can help towards my mountain biking, I'm, I'm pretty pumped to be a part of. Tomorrow we're going out to do some downhill runs out in, the, out in the woods, so try and see how it works with uh, what I learned here today. So I guess the similarities in rally and downhill is like uh, your environment and the ever-changing conditions. It could be off cambered, rough, loose, raining, whatever, so that's like a really like spot on with what we're doing here. Yeah, we picked trails today here at Port Angeles just um, like based on high speeds or a little bit looseness or just like linking things together because in the in the rally drills it was like, okay, so you, you drift this corner to this point and then you want to be set for the next turn so that you're coming in and linking it together. So it's really not like you're thinking at one time and ahead, like you're thinking the next step ahead and you can use like that in downhill pretty well. I think. You know, a lot of the fundamental things and skills that he taught me, uh, I translated to this, and it's just in my head, fresh. Like, like a lot of the thing with rallies, like when you're when you're turning, it's really important to like look with your head and spot where you're going. And for downhill, that's like super critical too. Like just that overemphasis of like looking through the turns and like getting your eyes up and going where you want to go. Being comfortable at that speed when you're racing the rally or driving the rally car is like a bit surreal. You're like, oh my goodness, this is coming at you so fast. But here it's like that speed translated to our speed kind of like neutralizes it and it feels like, oh, I can I can see it coming a lot sooner. So that was, that was kind of cool. So I guess overall the two days, like for me, it was just eye-opening to see the similarities and uh, try some things out and just like the the fundamentals that he gave me in driving a car, it's pretty cool if I can take even a small bit of that and bring it to my riding and go faster. So, mission accomplished. That was better. <laughs>